Okay, let's try to do number 10. Eh? Okay, so if 700 kg leaf, 700 kg uh, is moving upward, so we have um, leaf lah. So, dia bergerak ke atas. Okay, I'm going to draw ke atas. For 4 seconds, so dia kasi time sama dengan 4 seconds with constant acceleration until it reaches its final speed of 16 ms negative 1. Okay. Right, so number 10 ni, can I you change the question? Calculate the force exerted, uh, not by the leaf lah. Cal calculate the force, uh, the net force by the leaf, okay? Change the question, supaya soalan ni make sense sikit. Okay, uh, and then dia cakap, calculate the net force by the leaf, okay? And then, um... Uh, Right, uh, sekarang ni Miss tak tahu dia bergerak sebanyak berapa distance dia kan And then, I want the net force and I have the velocity Okay, I don't know where to start But, uh, let's try to start with the work energy theorem Okay, W sama dengan delta K Okay, why do I use W sama delta K? Sebab, uh, dia kasi velocity so must be use uh, kinetic energy when you formula lah And then, dia minta force, net force So, mesti kena mengenai dengan work which Kalau kita pecahkan, uh, will be F net dot S sama dengan half MV square minus half MU square. Okay, alright. So, this one, uh, uh, we assume, eh, walaupun dia tak cakap, uh, so, leaf is uh, initially stationary lah. Okay, so, this one akan jadi kosong. Okay. Kalau kamu jumpa soalan macam ni and then it doesn't give you the value of U, so, you can uh, assume the value of u is zero because it starts from rest lah, leave to rest and then they grow. Okay, and then it wa we want the f net. We already have mass at the v at the, but we don't have s. Okay, how do I find s? Okay, so I can use this formula, right? Uh, okay, I want to find s distance to travel. Okay, I can use v square equals to um. Okay, let's try eh, try an error plus two a s. Okay, and then I have V is equals to 16 square. And then, um, okay, I cannot use it. This is 0, right? But I cannot use this one because I don't know the value of A. I want to find the value of S. So, cannot use this one lah. Okay, so let's try to do this one instead. So, V equals to U plus 80. U equals to 0. V is 16. Acceleration nak cari. Okay, so acceleration sama dengan 4 ms negative 2. Kenapa Miss nak cari acceleration? Supaya Miss boleh cari lah dia punya distance dia travel berapa. Okay, kita guna formula ni motion saja. And then V square is 16 square. This one is 0, 2, 4 and then S. Okay, uh, and then Miss dapat S sama dengan 32 meter. Okay, and then Miss boleh kira lah. F net. Distance dia travel lah 32 So maksudnya dia naik daripada sini ke sini adalah 32 Sama dengan 1 per 2 Mass dia adalah 700 Velocity adalah 16 square And then F net kamu akan dapat sama dengan 2800 Newton Okay Right Okay untuk uh, 10 ayat 2 Dia suruh kira uh, Instantaneous power of the motor at t equals to 4 second, right? So, sekarang ni kita ada sudah F net uh, apabila t sama dengan 4 second. Okay, so we can use this formula. It's in this power. Formula dia lah. P equals to F dot Fv lah. And then, okay. And then, kita tahu velocity this one is bila t sama dengan 4 second. Okay, I know that bila t sama dengan 4 second, Velocity sama dengan 16. And then F net juga sama dengan uh, this value here lah. Velocity sama dengan 4. Okay. So I can just put it 2800 um, uh, darat dengan 16. So ni uh, akan dapat. Actually dia cos theta kan. Tapi sebab uh, dia bergerak. Force ni bergerak ke atas. And then distance pun. Uh, velocity pun bergerak ke atas kan. So, kita cakap cos dia lah cos 0 lah. Okay. So, kamu tekan, kamu akan dapat jawapan dia sama dengan 48,000 
lift apparatus ward. Tapi dia nak dalam horsepower. So, I know that 1 horsepower sama dengan uh, 746 watt. Okay, so so what happen? Bisa akan tukar ni kepada horsepower lah. So, so P sama dengan this value over here. Darab dengan 1 horsepower bahagi 746 watt. So, ni potong-potong. So, uh, bisa akan dapat 60.1 horsepower. Okay.